In today's speculation video, we are talking about Mean Streak because the way Cedar Point is teasing this thing, they obviously want us to be talking about it, so we're going to give in and actually talk about it. Now, last time we got a view of Mean Streak was back at Winter Chill Out, so we really got to see some of this in person. But in the meantime, Cedar Point still hasn't opened for the 2017 season yet, so a lot of the Mean Streak updates that we would be seeing, we can't actually get in person unless, say, someone created a Twitter account that was posting pictures of it that was probably an inside job, which turns out there actually is. It is at new Mean Streak, Mean Streak Updates, and we're pretty sure it's run by Tony Clark, but that's irrelevant. So we've been relying on those pictures to get our updates until Cedar Point themselves posted this video video. Now as you're watching this, keep in mind I don't own this footage. This is all Cedar Point. Please go check out this video on Twitter. But I just want to break it down a bit, talk about what we're looking at here and what this could mean. Now obviously you aren't hearing any sound in this, but what is playing in this video is western style music, which makes total sense because this is in the frontier area of the park. You have Maverick right there, all the western style theming. So when you hear that western music, we're definitely looking at a western style name. But here's where things get interesting. They end it with, they're coming. Well now, that's vague. Here's why I find this interesting. Most coaster names are singular. Look at Raptor, Valraven. All of these are one singular name. It's not too often where you see a coaster that ends in S or is a word that implies more than one thing. Like take Gemini for example. Gemini is named after these two stars in outer space and because it's a racing coaster, that is a plural name. So that would be an example of a name that implies more than one thing without ending in S. Because I think it'd be really interesting if whatever the new name for this would be just has like an S attached onto it. Like think about like Batman the Ride. That'd be like Batman the Rides. Except it's one coaster, so that wouldn't make sense. Or Wicked Cyclones. Or Lightning Rods, you know? That, that doesn't make sense. So what I did was I did a bit of research and I looked up western style vocabulary and looked at some things that could possibly imply what we're looking at here. As I was looking through this, a few of them stood out to me. I'm not saying that these are necessarily going to be the name, but we could be seeing something along these lines. So here's just a few of the words that I thought were interesting. Bandit, Cavalry, Frontiersman, Lawless, Notorious, Outlaw, but that's kind of taken so I don't think they'll be going with that. Sheriff. Stallion and Stampede. Now as you're hearing those, none of those ended in S, but some of those can imply a plural of something. I mean, look at that last one that I named, Stampede. That implies a plural of one type of thing. So, my guess is we're looking at something along those lines for a name. Now, of course, coaster enthusiasts being coaster enthusiasts, people are going to start speculating, and one name that I heard as a possibility that someone brought up was Centurion. This was a name that was trademarked by Cedar Fair and is still unused. And a Centurion implies more than one thing, kind of like an army. My only thing with this is that I don't think that will be the name because when I think Centurion, I don't think Western. I think more Roman. So that wouldn't really fit in with the theme. So I don't think Centurion will be the name. But there's been a couple people who have brought up this idea saying that maybe there isn't implying the name at all, which I personally think it is. But let, let's just continue with this. So they think that there could be implying that this would end up being like a Mobius loop style coaster where there's two tracks. At first I shot down this idea, but I think they actually have some decent evidence to kind of back this up. So here's why they're saying that. When you look in the station, you see that there is one set of tracks coming out of it. So we are definitely looking at only one set of rails in the station. But Twisted Colossus also has that, but they managed to make it a racing and dueling coaster. So people are saying, okay, well maybe Cedar Point is trying to counter that and they can do that with Mean Streak. And then you have this picture right here, again, courtesy of at New Mean Streak. This shows that you have this outward bank turn right here, and then directly next to it, you see the wood that rises higher than that. So this kind of brings up the possibility, okay, what if there was another set of rails that was going against it and that was facing that set of tracks, so you kind of get this high five type element, kind of like Twisted Colossus. I personally think that that wood would just end up being used for like some sort of tunnel or maybe some sort of prop or theming up there. Or maybe it just means nothing at all. Because when I see that turn, that would only seem possible if they had a second lift hill going up so that you could reach that point again, because that's pretty high up there. It isn't exactly like where you could go down that and then just continue around and then go up it again with all that same momentum. I don't think that that's physically possible. I think you would need a second lift hill and a second drop. 
And if you look at the structure up there, this is definitely one lift hill. We're not looking at two lift hills here. Some people are saying, yes, it's wide enough, but I don't think so. If you look at the structure and the way that everything is formed, we're definitely looking at a single lift hill here. So you have some people that say, okay, well, that's fine. Well, if you just put in a launch. Well, anyone who has seen how Lightning Rod has worked out, I don't think that we'll be looking at a launch here. The only way I could see them doing that is if they use that section from the old mid-course brake run and use that now as a launch to kind of give it some more momentum to get up there, but I just don't think that's going to happen. So if you ask me, I think that the racing dueling aspect is personally out. I don't see that possible. If it were though, I would be super impressed because that would actually be the coolest thing ever. But at the same time, it'd kind of make Gemini irrelevant and kind of pointless. So I think we're just looking at one coaster here, one track. It's not going to race itself or anything. So getting back to their coming, one thing that I thought was interesting about this release by Cedar Point is that they released this on April Fool's Day. So of course you get half the GP there who are like, huh, it's probably just a joke, but then you're like, wait a minute, Cedar Point did this, like they're actually acknowledging Mean Streak. For the first time ever, they're acknowledging that there is RMC track on Mean Streak and that something is going on. So this is without a doubt not a joke, even the they're coming thing, that's no joking around. That is going to somehow play into the final product. And now I want to address a different category, which for some reason there are still some people who think that this could be a 2017 coaster. In case that is one of you and you still refuse to admit that, even though they have literally released teasers with hashtag 2018 project or something like that. So, I mean, they've made it pretty clear if you ask me that it's going to be 2018. But if you actually look at this video, look how many seconds it is. 18 seconds long when clearly the teaser ended around 15 seconds so they had to extend out three more seconds why would they do that maybe it is just a small little thing but then again i thought when king's man did the their really more coming thing i thought that that meant absolutely nothing but turns out it did so maybe this means something normally when i see 18 seconds long i wouldn't think anything of that but because they extended out a little bit longer than usual that makes me think that that's probably another teaser saying that this will be a 2018 project also, just because even though they have tons of track work done, there's still not enough to make this a 2017 project. So finally, just getting back to the name, what do I think they're going to name it? I have no idea. I just hope it isn't like a really dumb name that I'm like, well, that's stupid when they announce it. But the actual coaster looks fantastic. So at this point, they could probably name it whatever and I'd still love it. But this was our first major teaser by Cedar Point that this coaster is coming and that they've actually acknowledged it. So I think that that's a pretty big deal. I don't know when we're going to get an official label out or something maybe they could make an announcement on opening day I mean that that'd be in May I feel like if they're teasing it now that's plausible where we could be seeing an announcement opening weekend I mean originally I thought that they'd probably announce it like halfway through the year but I'm thinking maybe it'll be sooner than we think which is good because I want to see a POV animation of what this thing is gonna look like so those are just some of my thoughts on Cedar Points RMC Mean Streak and all the teasers that they've been going around with let me know in the comment section below what you think of all of this and of course stay tuned for more rumor videos and thoughts on those rumors coming soon to Coaster Studios.